G'day guys, welcome to Pop Your Culture. Today I'm going to be talking about a comic book done by DC. The comic book is Superman Red Sun, and this was released in 2003 and was nominated for a Enzo Award in 2004. There were three issues and they were released under the Else Worlds Imprints title. <laughs> Else Worlds Imprints title that DC own, which is their, they write, they do all these like these alternate reality comic books. Uh, they've done a couple of good ones. There's one where uh, Batman is a detective after Jack the Ripper in Victorian days. But Superman Red Sun is a storyline set where when he came to Earth as a child in the spaceship, the Earth was, it was, it was a couple of hours late. And instead of landing in Kansas in the United States, uh, somewhere in the early 1940s, 1930s, he lands in the Soviet Union um, in one of their collective farms and is raised by some uh, true, true red uh, Soviet people and raised with all the beliefs of the Soviet Union and the USSR and communism and so forth. Um, and this actually so it's actually set in our history, like in our actual history with Joseph Stalin and uh, John F. Kennedy and that, but it's uh, using the DC Universe characters with primarily based around Superman. And when Joseph Stalin finds out about him, they promote him and he's um, raised up as the symbol of the Soviet Union, as he has the values of the communism belief system. And he's actually got like the sickle instead of the S on his... Um, the hammer and sickle on his chest instead of the S, and it looks really good. Um, it's a really great standalone series. So it was three issues, but it's available in the paperback collective, which I have myself, and <clears throat> I've put that away somewhere. <laughs> Can't find it, but um, it's uh, it's a must-have for comic book collectors. So like I said, it start. And the actual storyline starts in about 1953, um, where the Superman becomes rise to power, uh, just when the Americans thought they were going to win the Cold War. It's also during the Cold War, and then he takes that over. Um, in this, it's really interesting because all the characters are kind of around the way. At first, you, you think Superman's the bad guy, um, and Lex Luthor is kind of portrayed as a bit more of a hero for the Americans because they're trying. He's trying to find a way to defeat Superman, and the president's on the phone to him all the time. Um, so, this alternate reality includes Wonder Woman and Batman and Green Lantern, but all of them uh, are affected differently. With just like just shows how much Superman in the DC universe in the world, even if he was real. Uh, how much he influences everything and he completely um, alters all of their destinies. And the comic book goes on and has a storyline that spans over a fair few decades. Um, and the best thing about this, I love these one-off sort of uh, prints, is that if you're new to comics, or even if you're not, uh, you know, you can just read that and that's it, you're done. You don't have to keep buying more comics and more comics and spin-offs and all this stuff which i like but sometimes it just gets out of control so superman red sun fantastic comic book um for beginners or people who just want to start getting into it uh they can read this and um they're, they're, they're done once you finish it you've got a conclusion at the end you're not left hanging there's no real spin-offs um so that's a really good thing about it that being said if you're into comic books particularly if you're in the DC Universe, this is one of the best alternate realities that the DC Universe comic books have done. Uh, they're really big on their alternate realities. So, some of the Red Sun collectibles. There was a package you could get where you get the whole paper back in four figures. Ah, oh, God, I wish I got that. About $40 when it came out, and now it goes for about $200. So, if you got one of those hanging around, um, that's not a bad little investment. And some of the other collectibles, due to this, is like it's really niche and like collectibles weren't made much. Um, they've gone up quite a bit. So Red Sun collectibles out there, if you got any of that, you're you're holding hold on to that for a while. It's a bit of a gold mine. Um, 
Like I said, it uh, was nominated for an award in 2004, the Els Elsnin Awards. Uh, didn't win, unfortunately. I think it bloody well deserved it. In the comic book, the artwork is very reminiscent of like old Cold War Soviet communism propaganda sort of posters. And I think that's really cool because they really like, they really make it fit the era. Because like, although like, when we look back at that era, we see a lot of that propaganda stuff. And um, the artwork really fits with that propaganda type posters and so forth. Okay, so this video is kind of a bit of a, re a review on this comic book. Um, the only reason I was really covering off on it is that um, I'm, I'm gonna, this is actually my first video of bonus levels. I'm going to be doing a series of bonus level videos which are, are going to be all different things, pop culture things that I come across that I find that are like to their own, really unique and things that I think everyone should get involved in or check out, you know, just something really cool, really niche market type uh, pop culture things. So this video actually being a bonus level video uh, is because on YouTube I found this, they take they took the Red Sun comic book and someone's turned it into a motion comic. I couldn't really find much information about who's done it. Um, the channel it's on is called and Hillsim, which their only videos are some videos of some game that they've been playing, but then like their fifth video is this motion comic of Superman Red Sun. A motion comic is somewhere between a cartoon and a comic book, so they actually take literally the comic book panels and then they partially animate them. Like the word, the lips don't really move, like they'll just sort of, like Superman might come in a frame and he'll be like floating down or flying off or, um, that sort of thing. So it's that's what they call it a motion comic book. And then they've also voiced it. And the guys that have done this, um, bloody brilliant job. Um, they just did a fantastic job. The voices, voice acting is great. The um, the motion that they've added to it is great. So I'm going to put the link for the motion comic below. Um, please check it out. It goes for just over an hour. It's really worth a watch. Whether if you don't even want to read the comic book, uh, this is fantastic. And um, I know some people are against cartoons and stuff and whatever, but it's it's brilliant. It's a bloody piece of art, I reckon. And um, yeah, bloody worth a watch. So follow the link down to Annie Hillzil. I can't pronounce their channel. Anyway, uh, give it a look. It's a Go now. It's a good watch. It's really, it's like I said, the comic book's great. You just enthralled the whole way, and the motion comic is just the same. So there you go. There's the first bonus level from Pop Your Culture, the Red Sun motion comic on YouTube. Check it out. Thanks guys for watching. If you like the video, please click like below. Also, please click subscribe if you haven't and you enjoy this content, and we'll bring you more pop culture facts and events, places bonus levels, etc. Um, also, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And until next time, hooroo.